Hello, beautiful souls. It is me, Kerry. <laughs> As you've probably noticed, I haven't been on here for a wee while. And I haven't been on here for a wee while for very good reason. Um, I think the last video I really ever posted was the video about the rabbits. So video about the rabbits and then a few events followed on after that okay so i had to pull back my energy i had to pull back um because i was going through integrations i was going through upgrades i was on this soul evolution this whole journey um and what I can say is, going through this soul evolution and soul journey and doing the work on myself, um, it has been one epic ride. <laughs> but we made it. We are here. <laughs> so this is a little bit out of my comfort zone because when I first started the YouTube channel, you know, I was kind of like dipping my toes in the water, um, discovering who I am, remembering who I am. Um, wasn't really sure where I was going with it. I was doing my paintings, still am doing my paintings. And I thought maybe my main focus would be the paintings. However, through this evolution journey, it's kind of went on an integration of things that are coming together. Okay, so the jigsaw, the jigsaw puzzle, sorry, is starting to fall into place. Okay, so um, really, I would say Lionsgate last year really like kicked it off. And the best way I could describe it is my light body was here, but my physical body was here and I had to catch up with my light body. Sorry, I've got something on my palms. I think it's sage. Anyway, I had to catch up with my light body. And for this past year, I would catch up with my light body and then it would fire off again and then I would catch up with it. And when I would catch up with it, I would integrate everything that my light body on a frequency level was perceiving and observing. And in turn, that vibration, that frequency would have changes within my emotional bodies and my mind. So... The real kickoff <laughs> started from Lionsgate, as I mentioned. And I um, went through a journey where I was really unwell. Um, I was really unwell and I didn't know what was happening. I'm going to be truthfully honest, I didn't know what was happening. Uh, I went into this really low vibration. Um, remembering who I was, letting go of fears and traumas, um, acceptance, acceptance of a situation, um, healing from that situation, healing that trauma of that situation, and not only in this incarnation, but through all other incarnations and ancestral. And then on December... <laughs> December the 8th last year, my beautiful mother passed away. Um, so that was, um, I would say, the real turning point for me in terms of my soul evolution. And although... Um, it was very traumatic to lose my mum the way I lost her. Or um, not that I lost her, that's not really the right words, not really sitting with me, um, with her transitioning. Okay, so um, there had to be an acceptance with that. But with that acceptance and with that, my mother's transitioning, I then went into this path of discovery. This path of discovery. 
and this path of discovery has um put me in line or put me on the frequency and the vibration of where my soul feels that it resonates okay my soul food okay so this is this is why i'm on today okay um soul food's very important okay we all we all leave ourselves in with our, our physical our physical beings okay we all think we're a physical being not all of us majority of us accept that we're spiritual beings but sometimes we lose our way and we just see our physical being and then we detach our physical bodies from the spiritual bodies however they both coincide together and this is why i've discovered okay so we have a physical diet but we also have i don't like that word diet but it's the best way i can describe it just now okay so bear with me so we have our physical diet but we also have our emotional diet and that plays a major, major role with our spiritual, this is my perception, my observation, okay? Please take what resonates, I just really want to put this out here just now, and leave what doesn't, okay? But my perception is, we have our physical bodies, and we have to look after our physical bodies, okay? And this is something that I've been growing to un understand and learn. But we also have in our emotional bodies and our emotional bodies also play a major role in this and our emotional bodies are attached to our heart okay so we to be well to be fit to um be on the best vibration that we can be on we uh, we look after our physical bodies. We're careful of what foods we put into our bodies, foods of the light, whether it'll be like plant-based diet, um, whether it's pescatarian, whether it's no meat at all, whether, you know, you resonate with meat, whatever's right for your body. There's no right or wrong way, okay? It's what resonates with you. It's what your frequency is. It's where your frequency is at, at that moment in time, okay? But also what's really important is our emotional diet and our relation to our emotions because our emotions play a huge part within our physical bodies. And this is something I've came to really understand. Looking at my mother's death, looking at how I am coping on a physical level within this lower dimensional realm, um, you know, sometimes, especially with what, I went through from Lionsgate last year up until my mother's transitioning. Um, I was finding it really difficult to connect into my full frequency potential. Okay. Now remember, there's no right or wrong way with this. Okay. So just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Okay. It's really important. So I've come to understand that the emotional diet is very, oh, I hate that word, the emotional nutrition is very, very important. That's that's what we're going to use from now on. Not diet, nutrition. So the emotional diet, no, nutrition, <laughs> is really, really important. Okay? What resonates with me. And what I feel is sometimes we just concentrate on the, 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 the physical nutrition and forget about the emotional nutrition what are we putting into our our emotional bodies into our hearts on an emotional level okay now what's interestingly what's interesting sorry is when you wake up in the morning you're already sitting at a frequency of i think round about anyway 252 hertz okay scientifically proven i can't give you the basis or the fact who who done that research but there is research there um, if I remember, I'll pop who scientifically proven that, okay? <laughs> if you want backup. <laughs> Prove your facts. <laughs> that's what I learned at law school. Um, but that no longer resonated. But that's a story for another day. So, we already wake up at 252 hertz, okay? So when we wake up... Our hearts are always beating, okay, beating, beating. That's our frequency, okay? 
So our hearts are beating. And if you think about it, okay, you know, there's lots of things out there. There's tools that can help with our frequencies, okay? And for instance, the drum has a frequency and that kind of like has an effect on all our etheric and our emotional and our physical layers, okay? Because we're in an energy field. We are in an electrical field, okay? So if you think about it, we have our own drums within our own hearts, okay? And our hearts is our frequency. And every time our heart pumps, it's like a beat of a drum, okay? And that sends out a frequency. But if you have a lot of pent-up emotion and if you have a lot of trauma, lower emotions that's held within that beautiful heart of yours, it can't beat as loud as it should be, okay? So it beats a bit slower because it's carrying a lot of this emotional diet within our bodies, okay? And we, come dis we become disconnected from that because it's emotions that we don't want to look at and therefore we become disconnected from our heart. So my journey this past year has been looking at what's within our hearts um, and what's also within my own heart, okay? What's, what's holding back my frequency, my amplification of my fields? Because we are, we're energetic, we're electrical beings, this is my belief, okay? Remember, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, the lower our frequency is, the harder it is for us to connect into the fields of information, okay? The, the, the theory of relativity, okay? The quantum fields of information. Everywhere around us is fields of information, Okay, and our electrical fields, our energetic fields, our etheric layers are constantly reading this information field. Okay, and this information field affects our reality. But we're also creating our reality because of our emotions and our thoughts and our consciousness. Okay. So when we have this we have all these heavy emotions, these lower vibration of emotions, we become disconnected from that. And that then in turn pulls, contracts our frequency and it, it's harder for us to connect into that field of information. And sometimes we know what's lying within our hearts, but we play a blind eye to it, for instance, if there's emotions within our body, because we have a meridians, energy lines, okay, they all kind of run through our body and they all have like, um, for instance, your liver, if, you're, if your liver meridians out of sync, it's because you're holding an emotion of anger, frustration, and that's sitting in your liver. And then that, you know, the liver meridian will run, run through different parts of your body. For instance, if you've got a sore shoulder, it could possibly be an indicator that you're holding on to all this anger and frustration within your liver meridian. So our body is constantly communicating with us on a daily basis saying, hey, pay attention to me, okay? Um, this is something you need to look at. But I think because of what's going on in the world at this moment, there's lots of distraction. Therefore, we disconnect from our bodies, okay? And we, we just focus on getting to our work. We focus on doing the dishes. We focus on making dinner. We focus on, you know, um, certain things. And we completely forget about us as emotional electrical beings beings that are quite capable of healing themselves it's really important so what's interestingly what's interesting i've been doing sessions okay and sessions i've been working with the, this bioresonance machine called the healy okay and it's fascinating working with beautiful souls on so many different levels on so many different consciousness and so many different frequencies and what's really really apparent when doing these sessions is that i have observed that quite a lot of these beautiful souls are very disconnected. They're very focused on where they want to go on a path. However, for me, not all, okay, 
Um, and me especially, I'm not going to sit here and say like I'm all like the holy grail and you know I'm doing all of this stuff. This is this is a learning journey for me as well. Is that um, you know we kind of we we forget um, our connection to to our souls. And um, our souls are within our bodies. Our souls are within our bodies. And our, our heart's really important. And sometimes, you know, there's an ailment that comes up in our body. For instance, I'm struggling. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not affirming that. Okay, it's really important to catch your words, by the way. Um, I have been child... No. There's no right or wrong way to say this, I would say. Okay, so let's just go with it. So I have been challenged for a long period of time uh, with regards to my weight, okay? Instead of looking at that, I've been attacking that with a negative emotion. A negative emotion and a negative look on myself and my self-work. Okay, and our self-worth is held within our solar plexus. And what came to my realisation just yesterday, and this is why I'm here today, because I thought this is really important and it could help beautiful souls that feel called to watch this, is that, you know, regardless of where we are in a conscious level, there's always something within ourselves that we feel we have to attack. For instance, you know, my weight, I look in the mirror, ugh, I don't, I don't like what I see. Okay. So I attack it and I then go into this low vibration of emotions of I'm fat, like, ugh, like, ugh, just this horrible, yucky, even now dense energy, now that I've recognized it. So how do you flip that? How do you flip that? And remember, this emotion will also be held in this heart. And this that emotion will then affect the beat of my heart, the beat of my frequency, my frequency field, my connection into the original creator of my soul, okay? So how do you flip it? And what I come to learn is to be that of acceptance. Acceptance of where I'm at acceptance of loving who I am. Fat is not what I am. That's only my perception of what I am. It's the acceptance. It's not attacking. That challenge, that, that lower vibration, and how and you flip it with love and with light and you sit and you embrace it and you sit and you take that into your field and you love it. And that acceptance alone then shifts something within your physical body because your cells are always shifting. Your cells are always changing. An angry emotion will kill off cells within your body. And this is where disease comes in. But a positive emotion will then awaken those cells like flowers, like flowers. So it was really important that the ailments within our body in order to heal us, okay? And this is just a, a small smidge of how we can heal ourselves and how we can come back into our hearts because we've completely, in my observation we've completely disconnected from our hearts okay and we work on our hearts and we work on our hearts and we work on our judgment and we work on judgment of others and we work on judgment of ourselves and we're doing the work and we're doing the work but there's always just something for me anyway okay maybe this won't resonate with a lot of people but there's always something that we do not like about ourselves we don't like about ourselves and that in turn is held here. So when we come into acceptance of that, and I'm, I'm feeling a bit emotional, 
<laughs> so if I start crying, I apologize. <laughs> no, I do not apologize. Let it go. Because it's the acknowledging of that. It's it's feeling that love from here. It's it's letting those chains that bind me into that consciousness, into that lack of self-worth. That keep me within this lower density okay. consciousness. That further prevent me from amplifying my fields, connecting into my fields of information. And in turn, I'm, I'm giving that power away to that thought, to that consciousness. It's really important to embrace it, to fully take it into your heart, to love it. I love myself. I love myself. I love who I am. I forgive myself. I forgive myself. And that's... There's no better feeling than forgiving yourself. So, for one minute today, five minutes or whatever you feel called undoing it's just sit quietly connect into that beautiful heart of yours hear that drum that drum of life force in your heart center and see what's sitting there feel what it is that you that's holding you back if there is anything. And instead of tacking it with lower thoughts and lower consciousness, send it love. Embrace it. Love it. Change the environment. Okay, it's really important that my observation again is that our environment around us, it's not what we need to change in our physical bodies, it's the environment around us that can change it. It's really, really special. And that in turn helps with your soul evolution. And our soul, we've, there's so much programming out there that distracts us from our whole being and our beautiful hearts. So just for five minutes today, just sit quietly. Take that time for you. Cancel out all the noise around you. And send whatever that it is that you're attacking within yourself with nothing but love and light. I love you. You are held. You are safe. You are protected. You are a magnificent soul, energy being, magnificent. So, now that I've had this wee talk, um, the bioresonance machine, as I mentioned, has been one epic journey so far. And, um, you know, I've really been stepping out of my comfort zones. And um, this is a huge step. This is really stepping out of my comfort zone and sharing my journey with you all. Because again, I was looking at the negative emotion of, I don't have anything that is worth valuable to share with anyone. But sometimes you just need to take that big leap and just trust and not listening, not listen to that ego that's trying to pull you down. And you take that big step and you jump off that cliff. And you know what? You swim. You swim. And when you swim, you, you gain speed. You gain speed. And all these magnificent souls start coming into your line. And this is what I've discovered. And your soul evolution grows. And your service grows and your tribe comes into your field. And the people who 
take your hand and you take their hand come into your field. So with that, I've created a, a group with on, within Patreon. Um, that was a huge step, really out of my comfort zone. And it's a group where um, I share um, my journey and the beautiful souls within this group um, share their journeys. It's like a beautiful, it's not just, you know, it's our, it's our family within this Patreon group. And every Friday we do a Frequency Friday. And tonight we're basing it on I Ching. And I Ching is very, very powerful. Um, it's the book of changes. So it helps you make changes in your life. That's my under understanding. <laughs> And um, I felt called to share this with any soul um, that resonates with this message today um, that feels that they can maybe benefit from some loving healing frequencies within this group because I use the bioresonance machine and I send the frequencies into the group and their sharing of their journey when receiving these frequencies and helping with their environments and their electrical fields and their, their connection into the original creator of their soul and their shifting of their traumas and their emotions and has been absolutely magnificent. Um, and I felt really really called to share this with you all today because it's the first of july okay um and there's three tier tiers that i've created within this patreon group so there's the tier for those beautiful souls that, that are really dedicated into working on their energy and really want to go far however they're working on their limitations as well okay so there's there's a limited amount of spaces that i can accept with that okay and it's a low cost okay because you know we all have limitations we're all working on limitations and i am also working on limitations as well okay so um i felt really called um to open up a space for those souls that feel that it would be beneficial in helping them with their soul evolution. But there's also a second tier where um, there's a contribution and energy exchange each month where you get access to all the frequency Fridays. Sometimes it can be a Thursday if I'm busy on a Friday, <laughs> Friday, Thursday, um, as well as recordings. I shared information, videos that I thought was beneficial in my journey. Um, and I, like I'm picking up speed with doing... Um, very soon I'll be doing lives within the, the Patreon group um, as well as sharing some information here on YouTube. And then there's the tier that um, you can have a one-to-one -one session with myself, um, whether you want to use the bioresonance machine, um, an aura analysis, a bioenergetic body scan, or um, you just want to sit and have a chat or you want to use your cards or you want guidance or, you know, um, uh, a, a different view um, on your soul growth. Um, so there's three different tiers, okay? So tonight we're doing um, I Ching. If you feel called to join the Patreon group, I'll leave the link in the description, okay? There's no... Whatever is good for you is good for me. Does that make sense? And then there is um, also, if you don't feel like joining the Patreon group, but you want to t partake in a Frequency Friday, I always put up um, the energy exchange to, to join on a, a Friday evening or a Thursday evening. Okay, there's that as well. And I just felt really, really called. So on that note, um... On that note, I'm going to send some, about 10 minute of frequencies, a little, um, a little 10 minute sacred space time to enjoy frequencies from the bioresonance machine. So for whoever watches this will feel the benefit of those frequencies, okay? And today I'm going to send the frequencies to help with your emotional well-being. 
Okay. Now, if you feel called to partake in these frequencies, absolutely. Um, and if you don't feel called to partake, that's absolutely fine. Just stop this video at this point and remember that I truly love you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you to for listening to my journey and I hope in some way, I trust in some way that there is something you could take from my journey to help along with your evolution as well. It's beautiful. So, before I send the frequencies, I felt called to pull a little card. Now, this is really getting out of my comfort zone now. This is super getting out of my comfort zone, but it's all good, it's all good, it's all good. Okay, so we're just going to pull a card for this weekend, okay? Because I'm going to come back on next week because there's a few topics that I'm learning at this moment that I feel could be beneficial for the viewers on this channel, okay? And thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting me and supporting my growth and my journey as well because that, like you guys out there, I'm, I'm also learning. I'm learning every, every day, every, every day, <laughs> every day. Um, you know, it's it's a constant journey of soul growth. It's a constant journey of where we need to get to and how we're going to get there. And whether we're going to, you know, allow that process or whether we're going to suppress that process of that journey. And that's something that I've been doing for a long period of time. And not coming on YouTube and sharing um, <laughs> my my growth with you is in turn in um is also suppressing where it is that I need to, to be. Um it's already done. It's just getting there. <laughs> and it's it's letting go of those chains around you that bind you into this lower consciousness, like I said, that's preventing you from getting to where you need to be. So okay. We've just given it a good shuffle. So please give me a card for the viewers of this YouTube channel to help with their, their growth this weekend. Interesting. Okay, so this card came out for me yesterday. So this is with regards to Lemurian seed codes. Okay, so there's lots of energies. We've had the new moon energy that's just come in just now. We're now into the 1st of July. So the energies I feel are going to be that of amplification this month. Okay, this is just my observation. This is what I'm feeling. Okay, and there's a there's going to be a lot of things that's coming up to the forefront within our emotional bodies that... um that we need to accept, forgive, release, let go, removing anchors that bind us within this lower consciousness. Okay, so this is what I'm feeling for July. But what the card has come up with regards to is Lemurian seed codes, okay? Now this is the deck from Kyle Gray. <coughs> I will show you. Ah, the gateway of light activation, okay? So Lemurian seed codes, and what it's saying is it's embracing sensitivity, your uniqueness, your beautiful soul, okay? Your beautiful soul, your soul evolution, your soul growth, um, you know, remembering who you are, stepping into your power, stepping into your creativity. And creativity, I, I, I don't mean by, you know, your drawing, your painting, your art, your creativity, what you're creating into your realities, okay? Whether your your focus and your consciousness is on that, on the external, or whether you're really going internal and looking inner on yourself and looking at what needs to be healed okay your uniqueness and living with grace living with grace so be pay attention to that this weekend and if you have a lemurian crystal okay i do have one here somewhere if you have a lemurian crystal um hold that into your heart space and Ask the Lemurian crystal to show you or to help you communicate with your body as to what needs to be healed within your heart space this weekend. This weekend. And until the next time I speak with you, which um, I am setting a day aside for next week.
Yay! I actually have a diary now that I've started putting into my diary. Um, what I'm going to be doing now, this is super organised for me. This is like, I used to be really organised growing up and then, you know, kind of lost my way with distraction and consciousness and fear and blah, blah, blah. Now we're coming back into alignment. It's like, right, okay, this is where I need to go. This is what I need to do. And hey, listen, I'm not saying I'm perfect. I am human at the end of the day and I'm still learning pardon me oh I'm transmuting something I'm still learning um <laughs> of how to come back into that balance okay so just bear with me but again if you feel called to to join our beautiful community you're more than welcome I'll leave the link here today's the best day I would say to join um, because you can get, uh, you get charged the first of each month, okay? Um, I would say, and you can leave at any moment in time. If you grow your wings and feel that the group no longer resonates with you, there's no chains, there's no shackles, you can leave at any moment in time and just, oh, you're beautiful souls. I love you so, so much. Love you so, so much. <laughs> and thank you for being here and supporting me. Um... You know, I know I haven't been on here for a year and the people that are still here that, you know, and um, has ha have held space for me. I want to thank you so, so much. Um, I love you. And um, yeah. So if you feel called to receive these emotional well-being frequencies, please remain here. Um you can receive these frequencies either quietly, you could be reading a book, you could be dancing, you could be cleaning, whatever resonates with you. There's no right or wrong, okay? These frequencies will come into your fields. When they come into your fields, they will stop. They won't constantly run through, okay? So, and they will only be sent to you as much as you need them, okay? Um, your body no longer resonates with them. Okay, so it's not it's not going to continually keep going. Okay, um, you know, because we're aware of energy and we're aware of things out with this. Okay, so just making that point really clear. <laughs> okay, beautiful souls, and on that note, um, enjoy, and I will see you next week. Until then, I love you. Thank you for being here. I know I've said that, but I want to thank you again. And I will speak to you soon. Bye. Okay, so before we receive this frequency transmission of the well-being frequencies, first of all, I would like to ask that you make sure that you are grounded. Okay, so that's sending a grounding card down from your root chakra. Um, which is at the base of your your spine in between your yes, your perineum okay it's your perineum um which is in between your your uh to word it kindly your um your anus and your um your genitals okay so um the root chakra is down there so, okay so what I would ask you to do okay is visualize your root chakra, okay, see it becoming a vibrant red colour, if it's not vibrant when you see it within your third eye or your vision, if it's not red, if you can visual it being a, a nice vibrant colour, okay, and when you see that vibrant colour, set the intention to send a grounding cord from your root chakra, okay, down through your earth star, okay, and that's for me anyway, that's like a, a lovely, um, like a, a pyrite coloured ball, okay, um, spinning clockwise and it's got loads of sparkles and just visualise your, your grounding cord coming down through your soul star, down through all the, the layers of earth, okay, just keep sending it down, 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 down down until you see now you might see a lovely pyramid you might see um a crystal um 
whatever works for you okay i see a crystal and it can be a crystal of any form and it's just a lovely big beautiful like an angel quartz crystal is what i see so i see my ground cord wrapping around this crystal clockwise until i can hear it click okay okay click okay so i've heard it click so then all I ask you to do is affirm only those beings which exist in the highest order of light may stand in my presence. Only those beings which exist in the highest order of light may stand in my presence. Only those beings which exist in the highest order of light may stand in my presence. Only those beings which exist in the highest order of light may stand in my presence. Okay. And what this does is creates a 12D Christed shield, which is like a big golden shield around all your etheric and energetic layers, okay? And this stops any interference from entering your fields. This is what I feel, okay? But whatever works for you, it's absolutely fine. Okay. Okay. So what I will say, now that we've grounded, we've got our shields around us, is that after you receive this frequency transmission, if you make sure that you drink plenty water just to allow the frequencies to settle into your energetic fields and your physical body. We are electrical beings, okay? We have we are electrical and we need to conduct that electricity. And the only way that we can do that is by drinking water, okay? So please make sure that you do this as if you don't, it may have an effect on the times you might feel really extra sleepy or you might feel a bit off kilter. You need to allow the frequencies to settle within, okay? Okay. Okay, so if I could ask you to sit nicely and get ready or do whatever you feel, obviously, but if you feel that you need to lie down, whatever works for you, okay? Just get nice and comfortable. Take four deep breaths in. Okay, beautiful souls, and now I ask you to set the intention of what you would like this frequency transmission to do in terms of your emotional well-being, okay? So whether that's to help deal with any hurts within your heart, if it's to help you come from a more positive emotional well-being, Whatever works for you, whatever you feel called um, to, to ask, okay? Okay. 10 minute frequency is on its way. I love you. Thank you for being here. And please enjoy the frequencies. Thank you.
beautiful souls to slowly come back into your body. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Now come back into your body. Give your toes a little wiggle. Give your legs a little wiggle. Wiggle your fingers. Wiggle your shoulders. And just give yourself a wee clap back in. Ground back into your body. And when you're ready, slowly open your eyes. Thank you for watching today. Thank you for giving me the time and space to share my journey with you. And I also want to thank our beautiful brother Neo for providing his beautiful music and um, for us all to share and enjoy. Thank you, brother Neo. And if you haven't connected with Neo as yet and would like to, I will leave the link within the description so you can find his YouTube channel and um, listen to his meditation music some more okay, thank you beautiful souls whatever you are in this world have a beautiful day a beautiful evening a beautiful week month year just remember how loved and protected you are i love you thank you